name and shame. That basically explains the Central Bank of Nigeria's decision compelling banks and discount houses in the country to publish bad loans that are more than 365 days old. This newspaper contains a lease from one bank alone. The total number of debtors, 107, owing 13.3 billion naira, just about 67 million dollars. Other banks have much higher figures. The debtors are those whose accounts have been classified as lost. They include individuals, companies, directors, subsidiary, among others. In 2009, the CBN pumped in $4 billion into the country's banking industry to bail out several banks that had practically collapsed, mainly as a result of huge non-performing loans. The Apex Bank says it wants to avoid a repeat of that situation, but not everyone agrees with its strategy of name and shame. There's a way a bank is supposed to minimize exposure to the risk of lending. Loans are supposed to be backed up by collateral, sufficient enough to cover the loans that have been given out. So if the bank has not done what it's supposed to do, and we now get to this point, then the banks too should be, should be held accountable. Over 18 banks and discount houses are expected to publish the names of at least 1,600 customers whose loans have become non-performing. And the CBN says the 14 debtors would be blacklisted and banned from dealing in both the Nigerian foreign exchange market and government securities market. With the devaluation of the Naira and the fall in global oil prices, analysts had warned that non-performing loans among Nigerian banks are likely to rise beyond the CBN threshold of 5% by the end of this year. At the moment, the total size of banks' non-performing loans in the country is estimated at 400 billion naira. Now, the CBN says if it doesn't do something to check the situation, Nigeria might be thrown into another round of banking crisis, something it could ill afford at this time. Deji Badmos, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.